Hi, this is Lily. Welcome to Live In 4D. For those of you who aren't familiar with oxytocin, oxytocin is both a hormone and a neurotransmitter. It's released during childbirth and breastfeeding when mothers and infants cuddle and bond. Oxytocin is present in all us human beings who are or are not pregnant, and the levels fluctuate throughout various periods of our lives and connections with others, etc. For example, at the beginning of a relationship with somebody where you're really into the person, your oxytocin levels will naturally rise and you'll have a much greater bonding experience with the individual. As time moves forward, the oxytocin levels decrease and while you still may love the person, the intensity of the feeling and sensation and the eye gazing and the woohoo effect has worn off a little bit. Now this stated, it is a scientific fact that there are three different oxytocin level ranges among us human beings. The gene coding for oxytocin is located on chromosome 3, P25. The three forms of this uh, oxytocin gene, it's actually not a gene, it's a, it's a particular single nucleotide um, polymorphism, which just means that at one location there are three different forms of this gene. The three different forms are AA, AG, and GG. While I started Live In 4D with three different personality types, the AA corresponding to orange, the AG corresponding with green, and the GG corresponding with blue for simplicity purposes, color coding them, um, since the beginning it has evolved into con the condensation of two personality types the blue type and the orange type, and that is because if a G nucleotide, uh, DNA nucleotide, is present in the individual, that green type has a much greater tendency to be like the blue personality type than um, like the orange type. Now, it is a scientific fact that Asians have a tendency to be orange personality type or have the AA genetic markers. Europeans have a tendency to be the blue personality type. So Live In 4D has been created in order to design a way to bridge the spectrums of the orange and the blue and to connect the dots for communication and emotional affect ranges to understand each other and to have proper insight and awareness of self.